everybody, Jean here with more Mars Anomalies and Artifacts. I hope everyone's doing well. Insight and Curiosity. Did Insight find more blocks on Mars as photographed by Curiosity Rover? This is the page that lists all the latest photographs returned by Insight and I'll include the link below. We're going to be looking at one of the photographs taken on Sol 14 and uh, here's a zoom. We're going to be looking at this object over there to the left and that object there to the right. Yeah, I've corrected the uh, color, removed the red filter and uh, also enhanced the contrast slightly. So yeah, you can see the Martian sky isn't actually red, but uh, it tends to be more on the blue side. But then again, who knows, because uh, we get conflicting images of the Martian atmosphere. In one photograph it's blue, and then seconds later it's red. So I don't know why that just don't show us the true colors, but anyway. He has the one block, looks like a small megalithic block over there and to the left is a larger one, we can see smooth surfaces, straight edges and right angles in that and then uh, in this one we've got more of a tilted block, the sides are more tilted in but we can see geometry and symmetry in that there as well and uh, in a video released by Will Farrar from What's Up in the Sky also on YouTube he also covers many of these megalithic blocks with straight edges, smooth surfaces and right angles I'll include the link to this video below there's some outstanding work done by Will, you'll check that out and then a big shout out to Chris from Mars Anomalies and Beyond who mentioned one of my videos towards the end of his latest one called Insight Lander Photos Inconsistencies and Anomalies I'll include the link to Chris's work below so do check that out thanks Chris, I do appreciate it and uh, there's a screen grab from that video that he showed you or a screenshot from that video and uh, he has a closer look at some of the anomalies that I covered in that video these are taken from the JP2 it's photographed by MRO High Rise and we can see uh, signs of potential water flowing down the sides of uh, gullies and hills I speculate this might be uh, salty water seeping up to the surface and then uh, flowing down these uh, downhills, so check that out. He has a close-up of it and I've actually increased the contrast a bit. We can see uh, it starts off over here, flows down and then a uh, typical from liquid flowing down into uh, the bottoms of these uh, downhills we've got branching out and uh, very dark over there like it's some type of mud but who knows NASA says these are uh, darker materials that uh, have been uncovered and we're just seeing these darker minerals and things but that looks like flowing liquid water or something like that yeah as well down this gully yeah I've increased the contrast as well we can see it flows out uh, this opening of here comes down and then sort of uh, spreads out branches out like water typically would do and then some of the megalithic blocks, check this one out, we've got smooth surfaces, straight edges and right angles, some more blocks over here, and uh, very typical of Elysium planitia, 
I encourage you to watch those videos. It blows your mind. This block's massive. It's about 10 by 10 meters. Let's check out that smooth surface. Straight edge there, 90 degrees. We've got some design in this side, like a V-shape cut into it. There we've got uh, more blocks tightly packed together, more megalithic blocks over here to the bottom left, another huge one over here and there's another one there to the right. So these blocks, almost perfect squares, measure about 5 by 5 meters. Here we've got uh, one square block next to it what looks like another smaller block with a piece on top. Or possibly this is a pillar with these uh, edges carved out on either side. I've got a strange round part there. I don't know what that could be, but check out that. Two blocks still next to one another, which is unusual to see because of all the devastation that uh, hit the planet. Check, there they are. And down here, another strange structure, measuring about uh, 12 by 10 meters. Got an L shape, got straight edges running through there. 45 degree angle over here and 90 degree angles with what looks like a little entrance over here to the left. So that's it for this video. I'll be looking out for some more anomalies and I'll bring them to you as I find them. So did insight and curiosity photograph megalithic blocks and uh, is there something to this area called Elysium Planitia where the insight landers landed and um, not from, far from it is Curiosity Rover in Gale Crater. So two areas very close to one another and uh, from the evidence I've just shown you, both contain what look like artifacts of ruins and uh, a megalithic civilization. So thanks for watching. To my new subscribers who recently joined, thank you for joining the channel and supporting my work. And uh, to my regular viewers and subscribers, thanks again for your support. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye-bye for now.